Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and this is the second class of permutations and combinations. Okay, so we're discussing point wise, right? So let's just let's discuss third point quite easy. We're discussing very easy questions right now, right? Slowly we'll scale up the difficulty level, right? This is quite easy question. So now third one, how many, how many three digit, three digit even numbers are there? Right. So again, we'll do it by multiplication. Right. Answer you can tell very easily. Right. Because total we discussed there are nine hundred numbers. Three nine hundred three eight numbers are there. Right. So there are nine hundred three digit numbers. So half will be odd. Half will be even. So nine hundred by two. Answer is four fifty. Right. But we'll discuss it by multiplication to get that conceptual clarity. Right. So to apply in difficult questions now. You see. Now there are basically three places. Again, from the for the first place, I can use everything from one to nine. So there are nine options at the first place. Okay. In the second place, I can use anything from again zero to nine. So there are ten options at the second place, right? And in the third place, now only even numbers are there. So when the numbers will be only even, when the last digit is either zero or two or four or six or eight, right? So for the last place, there are five options. Okay, so nine into ten into five total. What is the answer? Answer is four fifty. Right. Multiplication because events are happening one after the other. So multiplication. Right. It has to be multiplication. It can't be addition. Right. So nine first digit and second digit and third digit. Right. Events are happening one after the other. So multiplication. So nine into ten into five. Five total. Four fifty numbers are there. Right. Now. Slowly, no, a bit difficult question, a bit difficult. But uh, as per if we discuss three very easy questions, right? So fourth one is a little bit difficult, right? Palindromic number we'll discuss. How many? How many? Four digit. Four digit. Palindromic numbers are there. Palindromic numbers are there. Right. Now what are palindromic numbers? Now see, palindromic numbers are basically numbers which, if we read from left to right, and if we read from right right to left, right to left, it will read as same, right? From left to right and right to left, it will read as same, right? Now can you think of some word, right? Not not digits and numbers. Can you think of some word which is palindromic, right? That is, let's say literal. It's a word. It's a palindrome, right? Right, literal. L L I R I L here also L I R I L so literal is a palindrome right madam is a palindrome right M A D A M M A D A M so from left to right and from right to left it reads as same right this is what this is palindrome this is palindrome right so a four digit palindromic number will always be of the form will always be of the form a B B A, right? A B B A. From the right, it reads like A B B A. From the from the right, from the left to right, it reads it reads like A B B A. From the right to left also, it reads like A B B A, right? So it's a form of the it's of the form A B B A, right? So how many four digit palindromes are there? Not quite easy because in the last place, see, if we start from the you can start from last as well as first, right? Because we only have to fix a b right if i fix first place a then automatically last place a is fixed right because a and a are same okay so for first place a how many options we have we have 1 2 9 so for first place we have nine options 1 2 9 we have nine options so for first place we have nine options so if first place nine options automatically last is also fixed okay from second place we have how many options so for b i can take a number from 0 to 9 0 to 9 right because Second place can have any digit from zero to nine. So if second is fixed, third is automatically fixed, fixed, right? Because B and B are same. So nine into ten total there are ninety numbers. So there are ninety four digit palindromic numbers, right? Palindromic number, palindromic numbers means what? Numbers which numbers or letters which reads from left to right and right to left both will be same. Okay. So this palindromic number. So a four digit palindromic number is of the form A B B A, right? Now come to fifth point. Come to fifth point. 
we are discussing question point wise right fifth point how many how many five digit five digit palindromic numbers are there how many five digit palindromic numbers are there right now let me add some variety here how many five digit palindromic how many five digit palindromic odd numbers are there odd numbers are there right now you see this case here i want five digit palindromic odd numbers right so five digit means okay one two three four five it has to be of the form let's say a b then from right also it should read reads like a and b right so middle digit is left only one digit let it be c so from left to right it reads like a b c b a from right to left it reads like a b c b a okay so how many five digit palindromic odd numbers are there so a b c b a and from right to left also a b c b a right so if we fix a here see now a how many digits i can have so we want odd numbers right what we want is odd numbers so a can be this last digit can only be from either 1 3 5 7 or 9 right this last digit can be 1 3 5 7 and 9 5 7 and 9 right that means the first For last digit, if we have five options, one, three, five, seven, nine, five options. So for first place also we have five options. So for first place we have five options, and if for first place five options, so automatically last place also five options because both are same. So if if we fix the first place, last place is also fixed. Now for second place, this B, this B can be anything, right? This B can be anything. It can be like B can have any options from zero to nine. So B can be. Anything from zero to nine. Okay, let me write it here. B can be A has five options. Okay, B can be anything from zero to nine. So B will have ten options. And if second place is fixed, so automatically fourth is also fixed, right? Because both are same. So A B C B A. Now for C, how many options here? So for C again zero to nine. So again for C we have ten options. Five into ten into ten. How much? It is five hundred. There are five, five. There are five hundred five digit palindromic odd numbers, right? Of the form A B C B A, right? We're not. You should get it. We're not writing for just B and A because what if whatever is the value of B here, same value of B will be here, right? It's just like writing for this B we have one options. So for this A we have one option. So it's like now five into ten into ten into one into one, right? So no point of doing this one into one because this B and this B are same. So for this B. If there are, if we fix this B here, so for this B we have only one option because that has to be same, right? So there are total five hundred palindromic odd numbers, right? Now, sixth point or sixth question: How many six digit six digit palindromic even numbers are there? Little bit of twist in this question, right? This is how we should study, right? We should study like this only, sequential, right? Building the concept sequence sequentially, very important, right? To build your IQ level, it's not, it will not be solved if you solve solve some random fifty problems in P and C. This will be very tough problems in P and C. Permutation combination, right? I call short shortcut P and C. Okay, so in P and C. It's you solve fifty random problems or any chapter, right? You won't get that all concepts, right? Concepts are built, mind is built, IQ level is built when you solve the questions sequentially, one after the other, one after the other. Little bit difficulty level increasing, 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 right? So your mind starts thinking like that, right? So you have to build up your mind. Okay. So how many six digit palindromic even numbers are there, right? Now I hope you can do it now. See, again one, two, three, four, five, six. First is A, then last is A. Second is B, then last is second last is also B. Third is C, third last is also C. Right? From first and uh, from left to right and right to left, it should read same. These are palindromic numbers. So even numbers are there, right? How many palindromic even numbers are there now? Why it took little bit of twist because for the last place I can put A as. Since I want even numbers, I can put A as either zero, two. Four, six, eight. So for the last place, we have five options, right? We have five options. But so same, I can okay for the first place. I can also I can call there. Okay, we have five options. But it will be wrong. Why it will be wrong? Because zero can't be there. 
zero is an even number, true. But if a this a is zero, that means this a will also become zero. And if first digit is zero, then it is not a six digit number. It is a five digit number, right? That means zero can't be there at the first place. Okay. That means zero can't be there at there at the last place also, right? So for first place we have four options. Four options. A will have four options. For second place now for B. Now again B we have can anything from zero to nine. Zero to nine, right? So for B we have ten options. And if this B is fixed, automatically this is also fixed, right? Because both are same. Again for C we have again zero to nine, ten options. Again ten options, right? Again, this C is fixed, so this C is fixed, right? So now all six digits are fixed. So what is the answer? Four into ten into ten. What is the answer? Answer is four hundred. So there are four hundred six digit palindromic even numbers. Seventh one. Okay. So how many times digit three will appear from one to thousand? Is the question here? Now you see this problem. This is a good problem, right? You need to understand this. How many times digit three will appear from one to thousand? Right, we don't need to count basically one to thousand. Okay, three, then thirteen, then twenty-three. Not not like that, right? See, what you can do is digit three will appear. Right, I can make case one here. What is case one? So digit three is appearing at the units place, right? So how many such numbers are there where digit three is appearing at the units place? Right, so. Let's fix three at the unit place. Okay, so from first, okay, from one to now here at the first place, I can take all the ten options from zero to nine. Understand why? Understand why, right? From second place also, I can zero to nine options. So from first place, why I'm taking zero to nine options? Because because in the first place, if the number is zero, if the number is zero, right? So numbers like zero, one, three is also included. In the second place. Also, I'm taking zero. So first place zero to nine, second place zero to nine. So numbers like zero zero three are also included. Okay, if three is fixed here, so numbers like zero zero three is also will be there. Okay, and if I'm taking all the numbers from if I'm taking all the numbers from zero to nine, so number like one two three will also be there. Number like two three three will also be there, right? So from the first place, I'm taking all the options from zero to nine because. In this case, I don't need to worry about. I need only three-digit numbers. No, I don't need only three-digit numbers. I need two-digit number as well as one-digit number. Right. In that in that case, first place can be zero. Second case can be second place also can be zero. Right. So we don't need to worry. When we exclude this first place zero, only when we have to worry about only I I want three-digit numbers. So if I want three-digit numbers, so first place can't be zero. Right. But here from one to one thousand. I need one digit number as well as two two digit number as well as three digit number, right? So okay. So if three is at the units place, so how many numbers I can form here? So if three is at the units place, I can form ten into ten hundred numbers. Ten into ten hundred such numbers in which three will appear at the unit place. Okay. Now case two. Case two. When three will appear at the Tens place. Now, if three appears at the tens place again, same thing. For first place zero to nine, from second third place also zero to nine. So there are ten options here. Ten options for first place. Ten options for third place. Right. So again, ten into ten, total three hundred numbers are there. Sorry, not three hundred. I was thinking about the answer. Right. Answer is three hundred. So hundred numbers are there. Right. In case three, when three is at the Hundreds place right now. So for middle place again zero to nine ten options. For third place also zero to nine ten options right. So again ten into ten total hundred numbers are there right. So hundred hundred plus hundred plus hundred. What is the answer? Answer is three hundred. Answer is three hundred. Three hundred is the answer for this question right. So how many times does it three will appear from one to thousand? Answer will be three, as simple as this. Why three? Why so? Answer will be three hundred, right? Why three hundred? Because now you can get a doubt here that what happens with all those numbers like where three is occurring two times or three is occurring three times? Ah, huh? these kind of numbers are they included? Right? They are included. They are included, right? Why included? Because for this C, if you've taken suppose you discuss case two here, in case two. 
for the first place, I have taken all the numbers from 0 to 9. So 0 to 9, what includes all? It includes all the numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, till 9. So 3 is also there. Here also, 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So 3 is also there in this case, right? 3 to 9. So when 3 is also there, so 3, 3, 3 will form triple 3 here. Okay? 3, 3, 3 will form triple 3 here. Right? You're getting it? So that triple 3 is included. No issue. There's absolutely no issue here. Right? Here also, 3, 3, 3. Because 0 to 9, right? So if 3 is here, so numbers will, number will be like, okay, something like 0, 3, 3. Or if 0 to 9 options are there, numbers will be like, okay, 1, 3, 3. Right? So when 0 to 9 and 0 to 9 is written, right? So all the, that means it inclu includes 3 also, right? So numbers like triple 3 are also included. Numbers like triple 3 are also included. Okay, I hope you got this concept here, right? So, 3, how many times does it 3 will appear from 1 to 1000? Answer is, answer is 300, right? So, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter if there is a digit 3 here or the digit 4 here, right? Again, for 4 is the same thing. 4 at unit place, 4 at hundreds place, 4 at thousand place, right? What is the answer again? Again, 300. So, for every single non-zero digit, for every single non-zero non -zero digit, it will appear from 1 to 1000 how many times? 300 times. Every single non-zero digit will how many, it will appear how many times? How many times? 300 times, right? They will appear 300 times from 1 to 1000, right? Okay, okay. Now, move to 8 point. So, should I need to change the question? I don't think, right? Let's see if I change this question to what I told actually. If I change this question to even, how many times does it 4 is appear appearing here? Okay. So how many times does it 4 is appearing? If I change this question to, let it be question 8. Okay. Let it be question 8. Does it, let's say, does it 8 will appear? And this is for question 8 now. So how many times does it 8 will appear here? What is the answer? Answer is same. Answer is 300. Answer is same. That is, 300 okay clear okay now let me change this question to question number nine now question number nine just changing few data here not all question number nine how many times okay question number nine how many times does it eight now nine in also how many times does it eight will appear okay how many times does it eight will eight will appear from one to ten thousand this is the question here from 1 to 10,000, right? If you include one more zero here, mind it. So, ninth question is, how many times does it 8 will appear from 1 to 10,000? So, from 1 to 10,000, how many times does it 8 will appear? Okay. So, from 1 to 10,000, again, same fund as we will use. In case 1, is case 1, if 8 is at the unit place, right? 1 to 10,000 means, how many numbers I can take? Till triple 9. Then say, sorry, till 4 times 9. That is the maximum. 4 digit number because obviously in 10,000 it is not there so we don't need to worry about 10,000 so at maximum 4 times 9 that is a 4 digit number so in 4 digit number when 8 is at the units place how many numbers I can form 0 to 9 10 options for the first place 0 to 9 10 options for the second place 0 to 9 10 options for the third place how many numbers 1000 numbers okay right now you can sense the answer here Again, don't get confused by why I'm writing 10 options for first place because I'm writing because at, I can take all the options from 0 to 9. I should eliminate 0 when it is there, it is a, it is given that it is a 4 digit, digit number, right? So 4 digit number means 0 can't be there at the first place, okay? But in this case, 0 can be there at the first place because if the 0 will be, will be at first place, it will become a 3 digit number. I want a 3 digit number, right? From 1 to 10,000, I want 1 digit number also. 2 digit number also, 3 digit number also, 4 digit number also. I want everything, right? Okay, from case 2. In case 2, when 8 is at the tens place, then again, what is the answer? Again, for first place, 10 options, second place, 10 options, fourth place, 10 options, right? So, 10 into 10 into 10, again, 1000. So, you can sense it, right? How many places I can do it? 4 places, huh? 4 places. So, for next, I don't need to make this many cases, right? How many places? That many? Tens. So, 8 is at 10th place, or 100th place, 10 options for 1st place, 10 options for 3rd place, 10 for 4th. Again, 1000 numbers, case 4. 
when eight is at sorry i made four digit number in bit flow okay so it is at first place a tens for option for second place 10 for third 10 for fourth how many numbers again thousand right thousand plus thousand plus thousand plus thousand what is the answer answer for this question is four thousand there are four thousand number in which digit there are four thousand times digit eight will appear from one to ten thousand right four thousand numbers sorry four thousand times digit eight will appear from one to ten thousand right so again a very good concept correct okay now next one tenth now how many times in sorry should write now change the question of it i should write in how many numbers okay in how many numbers does it six will appear will appear at least once at least once from from 1 to 1000 okay now this is a good question this is a real good question right how many times in how many numbers digit 6 will appear at least once from 1 to 10 10 1 to 1000 right now don't confuse with the last question the last question what is the question it was it, it, question was how many times did digit 6 will appear right so like in triple six so triple six digit six will appear three times but here in how many numbers digit six will appear at least once so in this question triple six will be counted as only one number because digit six six uh, is appearing at least once right so one number so i have to count all such numbers in which digit six will appear at least one from once from one to one thousand okay see uh one method to do for this kind of question, I'll discuss some methods, right, to have the conceptual clarity here, right. So, all these methods are important as per conceptual clarity, but uh, at the end, you can select your method, right, because uh, uh, whichever is the shortest method, right, that you can select, but all these three methods you should understand for conceptual clarity, okay. Method one, method one, right, in method one, how many numbers? Digit 6 will appear at least once from 1 to 1000. So what we can do is, in method 1, let's say 6 is appearing at units place. Okay, so if 6 is appearing at units place, so again same thing, for first place we have 10 options, 0 to 9, because again I don't need to worry about only 3 digit number, right, it has to be a single digit plus 2 digit plus 3 digit number. Second, first place 10 options, second place also 10 options. So 10 into 10 is 100 right 10 into 10 is 100 so digit 6 is up appearing at tens place right but what i want in this case what i want in this case is digit 6 should appear only once right so if if i want in method 1 that digit 6 should appear only once right so that means digit 6 has appeared only once it should appear only once at 6 that is unit place right that means i don't want digit 6 to appear at first and second place so for first place, I have how many options now? Nine options, right? No six. For second place also, how many options? Nine options, no six, right? For the first and second place, I don't want to have any six here. I don't want six. I don't want six at first and second place, right? So if unit place is six, if unit place is six, how many numbers are there? How many numbers are there? The total 81 numbers, the total 81 numbers, right? Nine into nine, 81 numbers. Okay, again same thing. So I should directly write, write like how many numbers are required here. So total, if digit in the in this case, digit six is appearing only once, right? Like suppose again six is is at the middle place. Uh, and at the first and the third place, I don't want six. So again for first place, how many options? Nine options. For third place, how many options? Nine options. So nine into nine, how many options? Eighty one. Now again, six is at the hundredth place. So again, I want to appear six as only once, right? So six should not occur at middle, and six should not occur at last. So how many numbers are there like that? For again, for second option, I don't want six. 
so so zero to ten so zero to nine ten options i don't want six so nine options again i don't want six here so out of ten one option gone again nine again 81 right so total 81 into 3 will be 243 so 243 numbers are there in which six appearing only once only once right six is appearing only let me write clearly six is appearing only once right how many numbers are there 243 numbers right so now you should use this line right every time writing this much is not required some mental cal calculations you should do right and okay six is at the unit place so nine into nine 81 number so six is at the tens place also 81 six is at the hundred place also 81 so 81 into 3 243 right so don't not needed for these two steps right not needed these two steps so should do some mental calculation right now in the second case okay this is the first case we discussed in the second case let's say six is appearing six is appearing at the two places now six is appearing at the two places right so in this case here again i don't want six to appear at the first place so how many possibilities there are only nine possibilities right? there are only nine possibilities here because i don't want six so i should rightly say how many numbers of, of such kind in which six is appearing twice so nine into three directly say 27 right here 227 here 243 right why directly nine because in first place six and six will be here in second place in second place six and six will be here right in third place six and six will be here so again nine year nine year so nine plus nine plus nine 27 so do directly 27 right do directly 27 okay now for the third case so should not write this much now do a bit of mental calculations also guys okay so we had nine options for this place so nine into three 27 right now for third place for third place if six 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 is appearing thrice then how many numbers such numbers only one numbers right so only one number what is the answer 243 plus 27 plus 1 so answer for this question has to be 271 is the answer for this question 243 plus 27 plus 1 right so what cases we discussed here this is very important what are the cases we discussed here first place in the first case 6 appearing only once how many such numbers 243 how 243 so 6 is appearing at unit place not at tens and hundred so there are 9 into 9 81 options why 9 into 9 because i could have taken 0 to 9 10 0 to 9 10 but 6 is only appearing once so it already occurred at the unit place right so 6 is not there for tens and hundreds place so 10 minus 1 that is for 6 minus 1 is for 6 right so 9 options 9 to 9 81 so directly we should do 81 into 3 243 because 6 will one time again 6 will be one time we'll put at tens place one time we'll put at hundred place right so 81 into 3 243 directly we should do 243 second what is second case second case is 6 occurring only twice this is this case right 6 occurring only twice so only twice means let's say at second and third place that means for first place again we have nine options we don't want six at the third place so only nine options right so nine options so nine and tightly we should do nine, nine into three twenty seven because again six six for second for second and third one case then six six for first and third one case and six six for first and second one case right so twenty seven nine into three twenty seven and now six and what is the third case six occurring thrice thrice means only one number such like that okay so the answer two for what is the answer two forty three plus twenty seven plus one two seventy one is the answer for this question. This is obviously method one, guys. This is method one. Okay. Now method one is very important for counting, right? It will help you a lot in tougher questions. This method, right? For this question, we can't. We should not use method one, right? We have a better method to do this kind of question. Okay. So let's. I'm rubbing it and let's go to method two. Okay. Method two. Now method two is what basically you can see at least once, right? What is at least once means? at least once means i can subtract from total right so all total numbers minus all the numbers which doesn't contain a six right so i could directly do at least six is appearing at least once means six appearing at least once means okay six appearing at least once means how we can find it total numbers okay 
total numbers minus the numbers which doesn't contain a 6. So total numbers available minus the numbers which doesn't contain right so very important thing total numbers are available right so 1 to 1000 how many three, how many numbers are available are available so if i include 1000 we have 1000 numbers available right but okay we are taking but in 1006 will not be there right so how many such numbers are there so 1 to triple 9 so 1 to triple 9 how many numbers are there triple 9 numbers are total numbers available to us right in this total numbers available subtract the cases where 6 will not occur single time also 6 will not occur single time also right so when 6 will not occur single time also right 6 will not occur single time also okay so if 6 is not occurring single time also for first place how many options 0 to 9 10 options okay for second place also how many options 0 to 9 10 options because 6 i don't have to take right that's why 0 to 9 only i should write 0 to 9 10 options let me write here 0 to 9 10 options third place also is also 0 to 9 10 options right but also out, out of this 10 places i don't have to take 6 that means how many options are left here 9 options are left right so 9 into 9 into 9 okay 9 into 9 into 9 what is the answer so answer for this question will be what triple 9 minus 9 cube that is 729 so it is coming 270 right and if you remember the answer for last method answer was 271 okay so why this difference of one in the answer why this difference of one why where is this one gone right one gone because in this case see answer was answer for this question was 271 we discussed in the previous method 271 right but why where is this one this one is basically you observe here so one is basically in all three cases you have taken 0 to 9 0 to 9 0 to 9 right that means one case will be there which will in which there will be all 0 0 0 right in total 9 cube right you have taken 9 into 9 to 9 as 9 cube right so triple 9 minus 9 cube so in this 9 cube it is not actually 9 cube right it is how much 9 cube numbers minus 1 you can't take this 0 0 0 because 0 0 0, 0 is what it is a number which uh, in which all three 0 to 9 means 0 to 9 means in all these three cases 0 to 9 0 to 9 0 to 9 that means 0 0 0 is the one case which is occurring here right to that case you need to subtract so 9 cube minus 1 okay 9 cube minus 1 right so what is the answer not 729 in this case what is the answer it should be 728 so 9 triple 9 minus 728 how much how much 271 Right, 271. Right, I'm crossing it because it's a general mistake. Right, now you can ask a question to me here. Okay, why, sir, there is 000? I'm subtracting, it doesn't contain a 9. Right, because dear, you have taken triple 9 numbers here. Triple 9 numbers means what? You're taking only from 1 to triple 9. So, 1 to triple 9, you're taking triple 9 numbers. So, where does the 000 comes from? Total numbers available, you have not taken this 000. Right. Had you taken, had you taken, suppose you have taken this. I can, I can write one more step. More step yeah. You have taken 0 to triple 9. So 0 to triple 9, if you include 0, there are 1000 numbers. So 0 to triple 9, you take the first place, there are 1000 numbers. Right? 0 to triple 9. Then in this case, you can directly write 0 to 9, 0 to 9, 0 to 9, 9 cube. So 9, 9 into 9 into 9. What is the answer? Answer is not same. It is 271. Correct. You will get the answer in this case. Right. This is small, small thing so important in permutation combination chapter, right? It can just make or break your day, right? One small mistake, huh? you lose three marks known for known question and one mark for being wrong, wrong, right? Four marks you will lose. For one small mistake, you lose four marks, right? Four marks, right? Such two and three mistakes you make in the paper. Like suppose you lose eight to 12 marks and you are down from trimming from some IM Ahmedabad to you are down to some normal call, grade B colleges, right? Or if you're taking some good, good, good grade A college, those eight to 12 marks will give to grade C college, right? Eight to 12 marks difference, a like huge difference in such competitive exam like CAT, right? So don't do this mistake, a small mistake, because if there are options, obviously they'll give options as 270 also, and you can mark 270, right? It's simple. 
if I have taken triple nine numbers, that means I have counted one to triple nine. So one to triple nine means it doesn't involve a zero, right? And here, if I write nine into nine to nine, zero to zero to nine, zero to nine, zero to nine, and sixes I have not taken. So out of ten options, six is gone. So nine options, right? In just nine, zero to nine, zero to nine, zero to nine. So zero 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 also there, and zero 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 is not not available number, right? Zero is not an available number. So taken from one to triple nine. So I have to subtract this zero. That is nine q minus one. So now it is okay. Answer is two seventy one. If you at all you want this zero, you need to take from in, in start from zero. You don't do you don't take from one to triple nine. You take from zero to triple nine. So zero to triple nine how many numbers? Thousand numbers. Thousand numbers minus nine q. Now in this case zero it contains a zero. So I should subtract a zero. So no issue, right? So it it also contains a zero. It also contains a zero. That will subtract it. No issue, right? So thousand minus seven twenty nine is two seventy one. So two seventy one is the answer. This is this is this is this is method two. This is method two. Okay. Now method three we'll discuss in next video, right? You just get go, go through these two methods. You get completely uh, okay with this, right? So method three we'll discuss is again a good method. We'll discuss in next video. Okay. Thank you.